Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. This is your friend and tutor Manas. And of late, I've been getting a lot of messages on YouTube and Facebook to develop content on engineering mechanics. It's also known as applied mechanics. Well, I'm extremely delighted to inform you all that the wait is finally over. As you'll see video tutorials on this subject rolling out every week. But let me tell you that engineering drawing has been my first love and I'll keep on uploading more videos in that regard. So let's get started with problems based on forces on a plane. Here we go. A force P is applied at O to the string AOB. So this is the string AOB onto which at a certain point O this force P is being applied at a certain angle theta with the vertical. If the tension in each part of the string is 50 newtons, okay, so this tension in each part of the string has been given as 50 newtons. So over here, the tension is going to be 50. Over here, the tension again is going to be 50. All right. Find the magnitude and direction of force P for equilibrium conditions. Extremely important, this word. Equilibrium conditions. So when you speak of equilibrium condition, you have this uh, summation of all the forces in x direction is equal to 0. And at the same time, you can say that summation of all the forces in the y direction also is going to be equal to zero. Okay. So in order to solve this, I'm going to modify this figure slightly. I'm going to draw a construction line passing through O. And with the help of uh, the parallel line concept, I'm going to uh, conclude that this angle is going to be 30 degrees and this angle also is going to be 45 degrees. Okay. Fine. So initially, we're going to be resolving all of them up. Okay. Let's try to do that. Um, let us go further. So this is your point uh, force P at an angle theta with the vertical. If you try to extend this force okay, along this direction, you're going to work out this angle again is going to be theta. This is P and this vertical component in the downward direction should work out as P cos theta. And this is going to be P sin theta. Similarly, you have these two tension forces. Okay on either end. So this is again 50 newtons and this also is 50 newtons. So I'm going to write this as 50, 5, 0. This is again 50 and this angle is how much? This is 30 degrees and this over here is 45 degrees. So let us resolve these two forces also. This is going to be 50 cos 30. Okay, very simple. And this in the upward direction is going to be 50 sin 30. All right. So we have this force 50 at an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal. And this is going to be 50 cos 45. And over here, we're going to have 50 sine 45. All right. Now the resolution of forces are done. We'll now go ahead and write this in the form of an equation and equate them to zero. So firstly, I'm going to do this stuff summation of all the forces in x direction are going to be equal to zero. So let's write all of them. Okay. Now there is this thing. Remember this, all the forces towards the right or upwards shall be taken as positive and any force directed towards the left or in the downward direction shall be taken as negative. So I'm going to be following this rule. So this particular force you see 50 cos 30 shall be taken as positive. Okay. And whereas P sin theta and 50 cos 45 shall be taken as negative. So let us write that down 50 cos 30 minus 50 cos 45 minus P sin theta is equal to 0. If you try to um, shift P sin theta shall work out as 50 cos 30 minus 50 cos 45. I'm trying to solve this equation. It should uh, eventually work out as 7.945 newtons. So let us write then write this down. P sine theta is equal to this much. So let me enclose this into a box. Okay. And let me give this equation number one. Okay. We'll now go ahead and write down summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to zero. So how to do this? So this force in, in the upper direction, this also is in the upper direction and hence both of them are going to be taken as positive. Whereas this force P cos theta, this is in the downward direction and hence has to be taken as negative. So let's write them down. 50 sine 30 minus 50 sine 45 
Ma this is not minus in fact this is plus minus p cosine theta is equal to zero all the forces summation is going to be equal to zero all right so you have this value of p cos theta is equal to 50 sine 30 let me write this quickly 50 sine 30 plus 50 sine 45 now if you try to do this calculation 50 sine 30 plus 50 sine 45 it should eventually work out as 60.355 newtons let me again enclose this into a sort of a box okay and this shall be your equation number two so you have two equations and you have two unknowns one unknown is p other unknown is theta these two unknown are supposed to be calculated how can that be done so we're going to square equation number one and we're going to add it with again the square of equation number two so please watch this carefully this is p square cos square theta plus p square sine square theta and towards the right hand side we have this 60.35 square plus 7.94 square okay so you take p square as common and this becomes an identity in itself a trigonometric identity cos square theta plus sine square theta and it should this over to this side you put this value in a, into a scientific calculator or any calculator for that matter and this should eventually work out as 3705.88 and we know very well that cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1 okay so p square multiplied by 1 will be this value 3705.88 and when you try to find the value of p it should be under root of 3705.88 and hence value of p shall work out as 60.87 newtons or approximately you can write this as 61 newtons okay now we want to know at what angle is this p acting okay for that what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dividing this equation one by equation two okay and when we do so you have this p sine theta over p cos theta is equal to 7.945 divided by um, 60.35 and p and p cancel out sine theta by cos theta will be tan theta and it should be equal to let me write this down 0 0.131 pretty easy and theta is equal to tan inverse of 0 0.131 and it should work out as 7.4 9 degrees or it can approximate it as 7.5 degrees that's it so guys that was all for today from my side i'll be back with more such videos on engineering mechanics and forces until then it's a wrap for today this is manas patnaik signing off take care and keep learning